Cindy, I know the last few weeks, the last two weeks in particular, have been very chaotic. A lot has come out in media about your story. You have shared very openly. What has it been like for you since your story came out so broadly? Um, it has definitely been busy. I have lots of messages that I, I try to read all my private messages that I've been receiving. I've done, as you know, quite a few interviews. Um, in the beginning, it was maybe a little bit rattling because I haven't ever had that kind of exposure to media, but I also just have such a conviction about doing this. So I have had an incredible amount of support and I think that's what's kept me going. The recent resignation of Robert Morris, the well-known megachurch pastor, amid serious allegations of sexual assault and inappropriate behavior, has significantly impacted the landscape of modern evangelicalism, raising numerous concerns about the integrity of church leadership and the effectiveness of existing accountability mechanisms. Morris, who founded Gateway Church in 2000, built a substantial following with his dynamic preaching and focus on practical theology, quickly becoming a prominent figure in the evangelical community. Gateway Church flourished under his leadership, expanding to multiple campuses and attracting tens of thousands of members. Morris also authored several best-selling books and was a frequent speaker at national conferences and on Christian television networks, making him a household name among evangelicals. However, the recent accusations have cast a long shadow over his ministry and have raised critical questions about the internal culture and governance of megachurches. The allegations, brought forth by several women, claim that Morris engaged in sexual assault and inappropriate behavior over several years. These claims, corroborated by multiple sources, suggest a pattern of misconduct that went unchecked for a significant period. The initial shock and disbelief within Gateway Church have given way to a more profound sense of betrayal and disillusionment among its members. Trust, a fundamental cornerstone of any religious institution, has been severely undermined, leading to a crisis of confidence within the congregation. This erosion of trust is likely to have several immediate and long-term consequences for the church. Firstly, the impact on church attendance and participation is likely to be substantial. Members who once viewed Morris as a spiritual guide may now feel disillusioned and conflicted about their association with the church. This could lead to a noticeable decline in attendance at services and participation in church activities. The emotional and spiritual well-being of the congregation is at risk as members grapple with the implications of the allegations and their feelings of betrayal. Moreover, the financial health of the church could be jeopardized. Donations, which are critical for funding the church's operations and outreach programs, may decrease as members reconsider their financial support. This financial strain could affect the church's ability to continue its various initiatives and maintain its infrastructure. Last week, reports surfaced that Pastor Robert Morris Gateway Church had engaged in sexual assault of a child. Since then, people have been asking questions about my relationship with Robert. I'd like to set the record straight because some people are claiming that I was present when Robert met with the victim's family in 1987 and that I knew the girl's age when these events took place. This is false. It is not so. It is in fact a lie. The victim herself corrected the record after the initial news report came out, letting it be known that I in fact wasn't there. And I have a statement here in my hand from her attorney, Cindy's attorney, attesting to the fact that I was not present at any of the meetings between Robert and the victim's family. In fact, I did not become aware of the girl's age until the news broke last week. I was stunned. I was aware that Robert had had moral failure in his past, but I had no idea it was a crime involving a child. This is totally unacceptable. The way Robert handled it was absolutely incorrect. It was wrong. Abuse of a child should not be tolerated. I would do anything to help heal Cindy and her family. The scandal has also attracted significant criticism from other religious figures, both within and outside the evangelical community. 
Prominent leaders have called for greater accountability and transparency in church leadership, arguing that the church must take decisive action to address the allegations and prevent such incidents from occurring in the future. These calls for reform highlight the need for robust mechanisms to ensure the integrity and accountability of church leaders. Critics emphasize that leaders who are held to high moral and ethical standards must exemplify the values they preach. The failure to uphold these standards not only damages the reputation of the individual leader, but also undermines the credibility of the entire religious institution. In response to the scandal, Gateway Church has initiated an independent investigation to ensure transparency and accountability. This investigation aims to uncover the truth behind the allegations and determine the extent of the misconduct. The Church's leadership has also pledged to support the victims and provide them with the necessary resources and counseling. This approach demonstrates a commitment to addressing the issue with seriousness and sensitivity although it remains to be seen how effective these measures will be in restoring trust among the congregation. The broader reflections on the culture within megachurches are also worth considering. The rapid growth and success of megachurches often come with unique challenges and pressures. Leaders of such large congregations may face significant temptations and stresses, which can lead to moral and ethical lapses. The culture within megachurches can sometimes prioritize growth and influence over accountability and integrity, creating an environment where misconduct can go unchecked. This scandal may prompt a reevaluation of the priorities and practices within megachurches, encouraging a shift towards a more balanced approach that emphasizes both growth and accountability. Furthermore, the scandal involving Robert M. Orris raises important questions about the role of megachurches in modern religious practice. Megachurches have become a significant phenomenon in contemporary Christianity, attracting large numbers of followers with their dynamic services and extensive programs. However, the size and influence of these institutions can create challenges in maintaining close-knit communities and ensuring personal accountability. The focus on charismatic leadership can also lead to an over-reliance on individual leaders, making the church vulnerable to scandals involving those leaders. This situation underscores the need for a more decentralized and collaborative approach to church leadership, where responsibilities and accountability are shared among multiple leaders. The implications of this scandal extend beyond Gateway Church and the evangelical community, it serves as a stark reminder of the importance of integrity and accountability in all religious institutions. The lessons learned from this situation can inform broader efforts to improve governance and leadership practices within churches of all sizes. Religious leaders must be vigilant in upholding ethical standards and creating environments where misconduct is promptly addressed and prevented. Congregants also have a role to play in holding their leaders accountable and demanding transparency and integrity. In conclusion, the resignation of Robert Morris amid allegations of sexual assault and inappropriate behavior has profoundly impacted Gateway Church and the broader evangelical community. The erosion of trust, potential decline in church attendance and participation, and financial implications are significant challenges that the church must navigate. The criticism from other religious figures highlights the need for greater accountability and transparency in church leadership. The independent investigation and support for victims demonstrate the Church's commitment to addressing the issue, but the effectiveness of these measures will be critical in restoring trust. The broader reflections on the culture within megachurches and the role of megachurches in modern religious practice underscore the need for a balanced approach that prioritizes both growth and accountability. This scandal serves as a reminder of the importance of integrity and accountability in all religious institutions, providing valuable lessons for improving governance and leadership practices in the future.